First, we'll cover how to avoid a common time trap on substitution questions. Then I'll show you how to use process of elimination to answer this question in under a minute. You should know both ways because you never know what will click or confuse you on test day. The positive number A is 2,241% of the sum of the positive numbers B and C, and B is 83% of C. Notice that the question asks what percent of B is A, therefore we're trying to eliminate the variable C. If you're on autopilot, you might then want to substitute 0.83 C in for B, don't do that. Ask yourself, am I moving toward my goal of creating an equation with A and B? Remember the question is what percent of B is A? A equals P divided by 100 times B. Now express C in terms of B in order to eliminate C. Divide by 0.83 on each side, C is B divided by 0.83. Now we can replace C with our expression in terms of B. This gives us A equals 22.41 times open parentheses B plus B divided by 0.83 close parentheses. Now we have two equations with the term A. We can set those equal to each other and solve or plug them into Desmos. We break this down into two equations set equal to Y as shown here. Remember that percent means divided by 100. A is not right. I would just delete the decimal point to effectively test out answer choice C. C is also wrong. Now try B. Wrong. Delete the decimal point and you'll find that, yes, in fact, D is our answer. You'll know you're right because when you deselect the first equation, it is clear that the lines perfectly overlap one another. To solve algebraically, we can combine like terms to get 1B plus 1 divided by 0.83B. That gives us 2.2 blah 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 times B. Copy and paste that number in here. And now you know that A is 49.41% of B. Alternately, you could use process of elimination to solve. If A is 2,241% of the sum of the positive numbers B and C, and B is 83% of C, that means B is smaller than C, but it is relatively close to being 100% of C. If B were 100% of C, then our equation would look like this. A equals 2,241 divided by 100 times B plus B. That's the same as A equals 2,241 divided by 100 times 2B which is the same as A equals 4,482 divided by 100 times B.